guys, Anthony here with Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com. So we got a little different format here. I'm hanging out with another beautiful, and this is the fourth one of these finishes that we got our hands on. Uh, this, hopefully by the time you see this video, will still be in stock, it might not be. Uh, this is an aged Aztec gold with a black and an Asgard in our now, I think I might be able to say this, now our famous Empire 58 P base. It's not really famous, but it is our exclusive model. We're really proud of it here in the shop. I personally have an attachment to it and I'm proud of it as well because I had a large hand in building it. Really quickly, I've done a ton of videos on this, don't want to spend a ton of time on it, um, but because I want to show you three of them that we have in stock right now. I thought it might be a cool little chance to, um, I always talk about the subtle differences in the instruments and th th they really are, they all have their own personalities to them. Uh, but they're, it, it, they're, they're very, it, it's a narrow field there. There's not, the, the tolerance is very small with what we want to get out of these bases. Um, it does have our exclusive pickup in there and they're wound to, like I said, a tight tolerance. There's always a little bit of difference there. The different roasted necks, the different roasted bodies, um, and just the each base has its own little personality. So I thought, I thought we will shoot uh, three here back to back to back and uh, just kind of see what you think out there. I'd love to know down in the comment section if, if you hear a difference or which one's your favorite. Um, but real quick, the specs. Roasted alder body, roasted maple neck. It's a one piece maple neck. Our exclusive Empire 67, or Empire 67, talking about our strats, Empire 58 pickup, uh, P bass, volume tone, that's it. Um, heel adjust truss rod, nine and a half radius on the fretboard, 60s oval C on the back of the neck, or that's the profile on it, one and three quarters at the nut, vintage gear tuners, reverse gear, open back. On the team built ones, we always get this beautiful two tone non roasted maple skunk stripe um, and the roasted neck. I think it's a beautiful look that was kind of unplanned, as was this finish actually. Um, you know, I've said it before, uh, uh, sorry for any redundancy, but when I first ordered these Aztec Golds, I didn't specify the black anodized guard. I figured they would come in like the 50s style um, Aztec Gold with the gold guard on it, you know, that, that whole look. And when they came in with the black guard, this was actually the first one that we opened up in the shop. And I remember Joe and I, or we opened the, I opened the case and I'm more like, whoa, what is that? It was just a really cool moment. Um, just a happy kind of accident there. And this was actually the first one that sold. It went within two or three hours of posting it before I ever did any content even on the stuff. Um, I ended up buying an Olympic white one a little later on. And I love them. They're, I think they really are the best P-Base going on the market, uh, bar none, honestly. Uh, so, aged Aztec gold with a black anodized guard. And then the other two I will show you, there is a aged, um, I'm sorry, faded shell pink in heavy relic. And then an aged charcoal frost metallic in journeyman relic. It's just the three that we have in stock. We don't get a lot of these at once. Um, I mean, it's rare that we even have three of them in stock nowadays. Probably sold through 40 or 50 of these at this point. They're very, very popular. So just kind of uh, thought this would be a nice opportunity to show you some of the subtle sonic characteristics between the bases. Not that I, I've already played all three of them, tuning them up, making sure that the setup was good on them, which they are. They're similarly set up. We'll do a full volume and full tone on them. Not going to deviate from that little finger style, a little bit with the pick. Um, we're just going to... Do my best with no guarantees to play kind of the same thing with them uh no right or wrong i can't tell you that i loved one out of the three so far maybe when i'm done with this video i'll have a better idea of that again i'd love to know what you think in the comment section please and if you don't subscribe to the channel please take a second and do so we greatly appreciate that if you have any questions or want to know more about these bases or anything that we do here at empire music it's 412-343-5299 is the phone uh, there's a chat feature on the website. You can get right to us that way. You can also just email me personally. It's Anthony, my first name, at empiremusic.com. And uh, yeah, let's dive into it. So first one up, full volume, full tone, aged Aztec gold, black anodized guard, Empire 58 P bass. Cool. Thank you. 
so, man, it's tricky because there's these, there's something I like about each one of these. They, they all have their personality to them. And this is why I love these instruments so much. Reminds me of like playing, like picking out an acoustic guitar. These things have really their own sort of voice to them. I think all around, maybe the Aztec gold, I think for really kind of giving me everything that I want out of a P bass. I think the Aztec Gold might have been my favorite one out of the bunch there. That said, I liked the compression on the uh, on the Charcoal Frost Metallic the most. So sort of like where that mid-range seemed kind of scooped out instantly. And again, we had volume and tone full on everything. I didn't, we're totally flat on the rumble amp over here. Um, yeah, so that's different. And then I think for like just balls and punch, like really just in your face kind of P character, I think that Shell Pink's actually the best. So they all have their little touches, but I think the Aztec Gold, to me and, the, and to my touch, had the best of a little bit of everything there. That said, like this one here, the Aztec the, or the Charcoal Frost probably sounds the most like my Olympic white that I actually own. I like when those mids are kind of scooped out and they're, they're, there's that, you get that like compression out of it. I always talk about the compression of our pickups. I think the Charcoal Frost has that voicing uh, the most in it. Uh, but it doesn't make it necessarily the right one. That's the beauty of these instruments. And it re uh, reminds me of like picking out a really nice Martin acoustic. And I know these are electric guitars. There's, there's different things we, we look at as bassists and as, as uh, if you're an electric player in general, there's different things you look for. But I love when they get their own little, uh, the, their, their personality, their, they all have their own voice. So I think that's a really cool aspect of these Empire 58 Precision Basses. Again, these three are in stock at the time of filming. By the time you see this, they might not be, but just reach out and I'll let you know what is in stock and I'll let you know my honest opinion about them. I've had multiple people call and say like, oh, Anthony, you know, which one do you like the most? And they end up just getting that one and, and honestly, like 10 out of 10, I'll say nine out of 10 times, they end up loving the instrument. I love mine, I think they're, they're great. So Empire 58 Precision Basses, very proud of them, exclusively here at Empire Music. Phone number at the shop, 412-343-5299. Again, you can just email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. I hope this sheds a little bit of light as to what I speak about when I demo these instruments one by one. We have a rare chance to show you three in one, two. And I'd love to know what your favorites were, uh, not based off of my opinion, please, just based off the audio that you can hear. Let us know in the comments or reach out to me via email. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.